Favorite TV, Advancing Kingdom Lifestyle. To the love of God, hallelujah to Jesus, hallelujah to Jesus, hallelujah to Jesus, hallelujah to Jesus. This is a night of strengthening, this is a night of empowerment in the mighty name of Jesus. This is a night of empowerment, this is a night of strengthening in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will be strengthened tonight. We are going to be strengthened tonight. We believe. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, this night you may have come here like the men who gathered around David. The Bible says, the book of First Samuel, that those men who gathered around David were discontented men, were men who, were, who had debts, were men who were distressed, but they gathered around David. They gathered around the, they gathered around the man of God. Those men over time are transformed, and we see them again in Second Samuel. They are the same men that one man could fight a lion. It was so amazing, I read a scripture, that one man chased a lion. That lion entered into a pit. The man got into the pit and killed the lion inside a pit. Among those who are discontented, among those who are distressed, among those who are, who are, who are dead, this night in the name of Jesus, this is a night of transformation in the name of Jesus Christ. Who knew Siku Akuhama? Katika Jina la Yesu Christo. We are being translated to the Hamishwa from being discontented, from being distressed, from being sick, from being distressed, and being empowered. Men that can fight the battles of the Lord, men can, that can fight and stand for Jesus and be counted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lift up those hands in his presence in the mighty name of Jesus. Say the Lord, I am ready to be and I am recruited as part of the army, as part of the army, as part of the team that's going to be changed, that's going to be transformed, that's going to be changed, that's going to be transformed, that all see, that all see, strength come, grace come, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every distress, every distress, every discontentment, every death, every disease, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I pray, translate man, translate man, in the name of Jesus, come through Jehovah, come through Jehovah, through step by step, by following instructions, prayer, perseverance, oh my God, loyalty, obedience, Father, I pray that there will be an arising of a people, there will be an arising of an army, there will be an arising of an army, of a people that can arise for Jesus. Zakatariabaka, Shatarabakanda, 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 Shatarabakanda. No discontentment, no distress in the name of Jesus. No death is going to keep us away. No distress, no death is going to keep us away. We will persevere. We will stay right on course. We will abide. We will be strong. We will be movable. Shatarabakate, Repa Shataraba, Rakatarabakanda, Rapa Shatarabaga, Rapa Katarabaga, Rapa Shakate, Rapa Koshatereba, Rekatariabaga, Rapa Shataga, Rashekatariabaga. Now we have peace with God. Shatariabakanda, Shatarabakanda, Shatarabakanda, Shatarabakanda. Let there be a translation. Let there be a translation. Let there be a translation of the discontent of every distress 
Zarabakanda, Zarabakande, Zarabakato, Zarabakate, Shetere Bagando, Shetere Bagade, Shetere Bagazo, Shetere Kazo, Shetere Kadie, Shetere Kadie, Shetere Kaba, Shatarabagande, Shatarabagadi, Shatarabagade, Shatarabagazo, Repacatose, Repacatose, Repacatona, Repacatona, Repacacheta, Rapaca. Shata, Raka Torokade, Raka Torokazi, Raka Shekataba, Rape Shakato, Rape Shekere, Raka Shetabo. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit some of us who have been pushed too far and too hard on the wall the Holy Spirit say the hair will begin to grow again the hair will begin to grow again Karoza Tariya Mashatara Bagazoto Robuganda Karozia Tabagande Rebuza Keta Samson asked for a revenge because of what happened Ragoza Tariya Magashetere Bagando. And some of us have come to a place whereby we are almost on the verge of giving up for whatever it is. You hear us talk of open doors, you don't know what doors those ones are. Razo Kataria Maganda. There are too many voices. There are too many voices. But the hair will begin to grow again. Rakosha Tarabaganda. The Lord will come one more time and avenge in the name of Jesus. The Lord of restoration. The Lord of restitution. Let me read the scripture because it is important. I believe in Second Kings. Zatora Magandoro Seketeria Maga Rago Zataria Bagatosia Baga Rarose Keterebe Zokotorobo Shake Rarosa Caparana Rabazo Shentere Baganda Rabosa Keteria Baga Sherere Bosacaturia Baga Irabosa Cataria Baga Sokotorobo Shaderia Baga looking for that scripture that this woman was restored everything that she had Rosa Katabagando from the time that she left the land Zakatoria Bagante Resherebu Zakata Rerose Kataria Bagando Robosake yes I got it second Kings chapter 8 in the name of Jesus Zakatoria Bagando Roshikerebu Bible says that this verse 6 8 verse 6 yes yeah and the king asked the woman she told him so the king appointed a certain officer yes yes for her saying restore all that was hers and all the proceeds of the field from the day that she left the Lord until you now let's see, let's see verse 7 then Elisha went to Damascus. Let's keep it verse 6. Restore all that was hers and all the proceeds of the field from the day that she left the Lord until now. And it was actually seven years. It was actually seven years. And the proceeds of the field, which she had not worked for because she had left. But the Lord, is, the Bible says, restore unto her. Those proceeds of the field, she didn't even work for them. From the time she left until now, seven years, restore back to her in the name of Jesus. And the Lord is restoring in the name of Jesus Christ, that of which has been lost over time forever it is. The Lord is restoring in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And it will, it will be an order in the name of Jesus. It's an order from the King in the name of Jesus Christ. It's an order from above in the name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's an order from above. It shall not be prevented by any man in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those open door and ancient doors that never opened for you, that closed for you, that revolving door is coming back again. And you're going to enter through that door again. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That opportunity will present itself again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That chance will present itself again. He is a God of another chance. He is giving us another chance, another opportunity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Don't give up. Don't give up. Paul says we were pressed beyond measure. Baganda. We almost lost even our very lives. Satoria Maga, just stand up and respond to that word in the name of Jesus Christ. Raso Kataria Baga, tell the Lord Jesus, yes, everything, everything, restoration plus restitution in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, even that of which, even that of which was never and initially meant for her. The Bible says, restore unto her, restore all that was hers. Shatarabaganda, restore all that was hers. The Shunamite woman, Rashatarabaganda, Shareria Maganda, restore all that belonged to this woman. Shataria Maganda Rabosekata, all that belonged to this woman, restore to her, restore to her. Shateria Maganda Rabasaketa, restore to her. Shateria Maga, Shatarabaganda Rabasekata, Repasho Torabagande, Repasheteria Baga, lift up those hands to Jesus. Tell the Lord Jesus, Yes, I accept, yes, I agree with your word. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I am ready to take that step of faith. Once again, I am ready to take that step of faith. Once again, I am ready to take that step of faith. Once again, once again, once again, once once again, once again, Shateria Baka, Shararabaganda Rabusaket, Reposha Taria Bagande, Recosheteria Baga, Rapasha Tararabaganda, Rapasha Terebagado, Repeche Terebagade, Repaka Torabozageba, Rapasha Terebaganda, Raposha Teria Bagande, Rapesha Teria Baga, Rapesha Teria Baga, the hair will begin to grow again, the hair will begin to grow again, the Lord God of Almighty, the Lord God of heaven will cause you to manifest again, will cause us to manifest again. Oh my God, oh my Father, arise, 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 for the glory has come. Arise, arise, arise and shine. Shatora Bakanda Rabazo, Shara Rabakanda Rebosha Kataba, Rara Rabakanda Rabosha Keta, Reposha Katarabaga, Raposha Teria Bagande, Rekosha Tarabaganda, Rakosha Terebagande, Rapasha Teria Baga, 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 Rekosha Tarabagande, Repos. Shatarabagade, Reposha Tarabagade, Reposha Tarabagade, Reposha Tarabagade, Reposha Tarabagade, Reposha Tarabagade, Repaka Torobogaze, Repako Zakataria Baga, Rakoshe Keterebagando, Rapasha Terebagade, Rekosha Tarabaga. that verse from verse 1. Let me read that scripture from verse 1. The Bible says, Then Elisha spoke to the woman whose son he had restored to life. I hope you remember the story here. Elisha and the son who was not and now he was and then died and all that and restored back to life. Saying, Arise and go, you and your household and stay wherever you can. For the Lord has called for a famine, and furthermore, it will come upon the Lord for seven years. So the woman arose out of that instruction and did according to the saying of the man of God. And she went with her household and dwelt in the land of the Philistines for seven years. Because there was to be a famine. It came to pass at the end of the seven years that the woman returned from the land of the Philistines 
and she went to make an appeal to the king for her house and for her land. And she remembered she had some land and some property. Then the king talked with Gehazi. Remember Gehazi, his servant of uh, Elisha. The servant of the man of God saying, tell me, please, all the great things Elisha has done. Now it happened as he was telling the king how he had restored the dead to life. And there was the woman whose son he had restored to life. Now that, in that context, the woman comes to the picture whose son had been restored to life. I, I like the fact that this woman is being referred to as the woman whose son had been restored to life. You know, the, there is a certain adjective that is being used when describing this woman about regarding the son and the son who had been restored back to life. So that tells you there has been a process of getting the son Son dies and son is restored back to life. So this woman is being described as the woman who's the king had restored to life. Of course, the Shunammite woman appealing to the king for her house and for her end. For, for uh, sorry, appealing to the king for her house and for her land. Yes, his land. And Gehazi said, "My lord, O king, this is the woman. This is her son, whom Elisha restored to life." Is that maybe that five? No, so this is verse six now, yes. And when the king asked the woman, she told him. So the king appointed a certain officer for her, saying, Restore all that was hers and all the proceeds of the field from the day that she left the Lord until now. Now, as we just pray, I felt we need to pray more regarding this scripture because the woman in the scripture generally will refer to the church and will refer to the body of Christ. This woman who had gone away after of an instruction and now is coming back and she's having an appeal, an appeal is granted. And she's being described as the woman whose son had been restored back to life. The church has a testimony. The church has a treasure that it has in its bowel. But the church at some point has been pushed too much. But the church is crying and the bride is crying that there may be a restoration, that there may be a coming back, that there may be a rising up again. Because the church has something to give. The church has something to show to the world that Jesus is alive, that Jesus does great things, that Jesus is a mighty God surely who changes, surely who brings life the church has content and everything that seems to have been lost from the church is getting back to the church there is a restoration of everything that belonged to this woman and there is an order from heaven restore back to the church give it back to the church the church has content the church is a life-giving unit for this nation in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want us to make prayers in the name of Jesus that are beyond you, that are beyond me, that extend to the body of Christ at large, beginning from this house and outside, telling Jesus, Lord, restore that of which is it a virtue, is it a gift, whatever it is that has been lost, that is not manifesting, and that was there, for surely there is a treasure in the house. Sharozia bakatura masekata, rina mazoka taria bagando. Restore to this. This is the woman whose son had been restored back to life. That's the description of this woman. That's the description of this church. And therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are going to arise and pray the Lord strengthen the church. Let there be a restoration. Let there be a. Re it is, it is, Restitution, that's the word I was looking for. Let there be a restitution of every good treasure, of every good thing for the church and for the ministry. Pray for the life church in the name of Jesus Christ as we pray for the larger body of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Open up your mouth in the name of Jesus. Let's pray, Kesha. It goes beyond praying about our own needs which are good. It extends to praying for bigger and mega things in Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cry, cry for the church. Let's also join the bigger body of Christ that is also praying to Ombeni Kenya and every other white skin that Jehovah is raising in this season to pray for the body of Christ in this nation to pray for the body of Christ in this nation to pray for life church in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to 
to pray for this whiskey, to pray for this woman. The Bible says, restore back to her, restore back to her. And there is an order from heaven. There is an order from heaven. Restore back to her, restore back to her, restore back to the woman, restore back to the woman, restore back to the woman, restore back to the woman. Shatara Baganda, Shataresia Baganda, Shataresia Baganda, Shataragabada. The testimonies of the Lord are not going to fade in the house of God. The testimonies of God, how we fought a bear, how we killed a lion, how we killed Goliath, how we have seen victory. The testimonies of the Lord will never fade in the church. The testimonies of the Lord, the victories that we have seen, the glory that we have touched, the anointing that we have walked through, and they will never fade. Shatarabaganda Rabaka, Shatarezia Bakanda, Katarabagande, 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 the woman whose son was restored back to life, the woman whose son was restored back to life, Karosia Bakanda, that woman is crying for a reconstruction baka for a restoration satoria makanda satoria baka satoria bakande katora bakanda katora bakanda katora bakanda katora baka katora baka katora baka katora baka my house shall be called a house of prayer this is not a den of thieves this is a house of prayer this is a house of prayer this is a house of prayer this is not a kind of thieves this is a house of prayer and we release the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer kasha tarabaganda ka tarabagande ka tarabaganda ka tarabaganda that was in zimua kasha tarabagande we can be shot by demonic entities korabagande Shatoria Maka, Repaka Shetelebaka, Rako Shetelebagande, Repa Shotrogaze, Reko Shetelia Baganda, Repaka Toroboza, Rapa Shetelebaganda, Rapaka Torozia, Rapaka Shotaba, Rapaka Shotaze, 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 let the testimony. Father restore the miraculous. 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 Father restore, restore Jehovah. Restore Jehovah. Restore Jehovah. Restore. the book of Acts chapter 3 we want to make a prayer Acts chapter 3 verses 5 or maybe verses 4 we want to make a prayer that Lord Jesus restore the miraculous in this nation in the name of Jesus and in the body of Christ restore the miraculous one of the things that must be restored back to the church is a miraculous our roads must swallow their roads in the name of Jesus Christ. We must come back to that time. We must come back to that grace whereby our roads swallows their roads in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whereby pick up your mat and go in the name of Jesus.
the graces we saw those days in in in, in uhuru park in the crusades that was the first place i saw crutches being lifted up and people running for salvation and many things happened i was beaten into church by my mother because i refused to go to church in kachapo nikaenda kanisani to see the miraculous and those days must come back in the name of jesus christ because that is going to change the world that is going to transform the world we must come from empty words into demonstration of power in the mighty name of jesus and that's the virtue of the church we must have tangible testimonies in the name of jesus legs beginning to grow peter looked straight at him and said as did john then peter said look at us so the man gave them his attention expecting to receive some money to receive something from them then peter said silver and gold or gold i don't have but what i have i give you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth walk zora maganda rabo shaketa in the name of jesus christ of nazareth walk that must come back in the name of jesus christ and it will begin with you and me where we are placed our pulpit is we must bring back the miraculous in your place of work you must bring back the miraculous yes do face your therapy for them and tell them now walk in the name of jesus christ arise and walk in the name of jesus there has to be a difference between those that worship other things and those that worship the true god and let that be a sign let that be a wonder in the kingdom thank you holy spirit them does not allow me to speak too much just lift the voice hands of jesus i am ready to be used of you yes i have silver and gold but father i want to receive some virtue from you zakatarabaganta Shatoria Maganda, the man at the pool of Bethsaida, seated there for the day the years when Jesus came. The Bible says, and Jesus asked her, "What do you want?" The man said, "I have no man. This night we want to recruit you as the man." Kazotara Maganda, Shatoria Maganda, Shatara Maganda, Shatoria Maganda. You are the man that has been sent. You are the man that has been equipped you are the man that has been sent to raise the dead sarosa maganda karosia parakuda kashatara maganda you either believe it or believe it shatara maganda repa katara maga repa shateria maganda repa shekabo My heart, my heart grieves. I see some people are just looking at us, and you are just dozing. You are just karosa bakanda, karo karakuti amatosa, re bakatosa, re bakatosa. Can you just access this grace, karosia, re bakado, re bakado, re bakado? Don't look everywhere. This is the time. This is the hour. This is the hour. The says. That that woman touch the hem of his garment, and Jesus said, "Who has touched me? Because I feel virtue. Virtue has left me. Virtue has left me. Is there virtue? Is there virtue in us? Is there virtue in us? Is there virtue, Karosa? Is there virtue in us, Karosia Baganda, Katara Baganda?" Kashatere baga, kashatere baga, kashatere baga, kashatere baga. Is there virtue? Is there virtue? Is there virtue? Is there virtue? Rapa shota raba kanda, rapa shata raba kanda. Ascend, 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 ascend. In the holy mountain, receive virtue, receive. Virtue, receive virtue, receive grace, receive grace, receive virtue. Kashatara baganda, kashatara baganda, 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth arise up and walk in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up and walk rise up and walk that grace that anointing has come back to the church has come back to the church this is the season 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 and every withering every withering in the spirit we cast that cast we break that cast of withering that prevents saints from walking in the miraculous in the miraculous in the miraculous in the miraculous Sarababaganda Shandarababaganda Shatarababaganda Rapa Shatarababagande Repa Shaturia Baganda Repa Katuria Baga Shatarababagande Repa Katuria Baga Repa Kashuturia Baga Rapa Shaturia Bagande Repa Katarabagande Sierra Rabaka, Sierra Rabaka, Sierra Rabaka, Sierra Rabaka, in the, in the book of Mark, chapter 3. Bible gives a story there. Shura Baganda. The Bible says, you know, this, this man with a withered heart. So they watched him closely. That's who. Whether he would heal him, that's Jesus on the Sabbath. So that they might accuse him. And he said to the man who had the withered hand, step forward. And he said to them, is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or evil, to save life or to kill? But they kept silent. And when he had looked around at them with, with, with anger, being grieved, all right, I'm following mine, uh, deeply distressed at their stubborn hearts, said to the man, stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was completely restored. This night, in the name of Jesus Christ, that hand that has not been able to heal is going to be restored back to life so that other withering hands can be restored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That, that, that the faith that was Kuzimia, Zimia Kabisa, that was diminishing, that faith is being empowered this night in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be able to tell another, stretch forth your hand in the mighty name of Jesus. Karosa Payandabo. I want you to lift your right hand in the name of Jesus is the same right hand that Jesus used to greet Peter's mother-in-law and fever left her. Tell Jesus, this hand of mine is not withered. This hand is healed so that it can heal in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So that it can restore. Jesus is restoring withered hands so that they can be able to restore other hands to restore other lives that were withered. To restore other lives that were withered. Let there be a restoration. 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 Let there be a healing of every heart that has been sick, that has been unwell. Every faith that was down, every unbelief, 
Sarosa Bagaya, Kazo Tarabakando, Kazo Tarabakanda, Faith is rising, 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 Faith is rising. Stretch for your heart, 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 stretch for your heart. Pakasha Tarabaka, Zotarabaka Dorabose, Raka Zoko Torabo, Zeriabaka. The name of Jesus, Shirebo, Zarugan Yamaha, Shere Kazo. Somebody pray the Holy Ghost. Lift your voice and let's neutralize everything, everything else. Lift your voice. Lepataria Bajia Tada. Yes, my father and my God. Jezeteria Bada. We push in prayer tonight. Zakate Shazaria Bada. It's not by might of power. It's by the Holy Ghost. Zakataria Badia. Zekete Zaria Bada. Lakate Zaria Bada. Everywhere online. Satoria Bada. Zekete Zada. Mata pa setere na mazia, shato razika padaya, ziketere jaya bada. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We give you praise, O oh God. We bless your name, O oh Jesus. We magnify your name, Savior. Oh, this is your atmosphere, Zatareza. Let me ask the worship team until they come quickly. This is the atmosphere. Bato Shazadi Abada. Hey, Shagato Zadari Abada. Oh, Saratia Zadari. Bagato Shazadia. Oh, Jesus. Oh Jesus Amen Now We just want to welcome you One more time Thank God for these prayers we made For you know that period of time With our brother Joshua And Onesimus and Glory to God I believe you are ready for the operations uh, I believe you are ready for the operations. Ask for me, from your neighbor, whether they are ready for the operations. Uh, if, you have, if you feel you are very far away and some of you look, you need to come closer to the fire. Glory to God in the house. Listen, we are not just doing a Kesha, we are doing a spiritual operation. How many of you know that witches, sorcerers, agents of the devil, demonic people, they usually have an agenda, right? Onaenda kesha kusababisha wengine walale ili wasiombe you know say nothing can be thrown against me say i have immunity so just in case there are people who throw those kind of things you know because they are watching online we also throw against them kwani kwani wao ndio wanaanza kutupa hata sisi tunaanza kutupa and as we lift the name of Jesus, which is the name above every name. The owner can't hear this. You pick up a copy of my shout. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Your hands are a weapon in worship. Your feet are a weapon in worship. You are doing something. There is no way prophetic things are released. Now we funga kifua. Wewe fungua wacha mchezo. There must be a. You must learn because we don't have time to teach. What's the use of lifting hands in worship? What is the use of clapping hands in worship? What is the use of dancing in worship? 
What is the use of shouting? All those are items and pictures and symbols that aid us, including stopping your feet in our worship. Glory to God. We rule the city center through our sound. The apostolic house, there is grace and an anointing to release a sound. And number two, through prayer. Oh yes. Oh yes. Glory to God. This year, 2024, we're going to do Kesha every Friday. Zayato Jazata. And some more days of prayer and fasting. We want to unleash a wave in the atmosphere so that everybody who comes through these doors will encounter an open door in their lives. This year, nobody will be stuck. Nobody. Nobody will be stuck. You cannot be stuck this year for a great and effective door has opened glory to God let me show you part of the wave part of the wave we are activating and we are not ashamed numbers not numbers Exodus 11 verse 1 to 3 there is something we are showing one of the waves we are activating as we get ready to begin to sing and to worship you know we, tonight we are mixing you know worship leads of sound praise prophetic stuff and prayer and brief word and those kind of stuff including giving and all those kind of stuff we are mixing several keys tonight to push a wave in the spirit yeah. hallelujah I, I know some of you must go because of what you are doing and so forth but you make sure you if you are go if you are going when it gets a time when you must go you know at 5 a.m. you go prophetically you don't go in the midst in the middle of a move then you miss it because we are macho na kuchoka may god's spirit be upon you you don't move out at the wrong time you also must learn timing somebody say timing, timing. glory to god these guys who are getting ready to leave a 400 years of bondage their relatives, their parents, their grandparents were in Egypt for a long time. But this is a generation that must come out. The following chapter 12, they're going to be shown what to do with the blood at the door. But here the Bible says, and the Lord said to Moses, I will bring one more plague on Pharaoh and on Egypt. Afterward, he will let you go from here. And when he lets you go, he will surely drive you out of here altogether. Atakubali, we will Pharaoh atakubali. Sema ta shetani ya mekubali ya meshindua. Verse 2. Speak now in the hearing of the people and let every man do something very special. Ask his neighbor and every woman from her neighbor what? Articles of silver and articles of gold. That's what you need in 2024. Because of the economic crisis. Verse 3. And this one read for yourself. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servants, in the sight of his people. So you can't just borrow items of gold and silver from your neighbors and the women borrowing and asking the women. Unless the Lord gives you favor in the sight of the people. We want to let you know that these cashers are activating a wave of favor upon God's people. Yes. Expect from here tonight, you have an unusual favor upon your head. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I said favor upon your head. Yes. So that what you would have not gotten at a particular season because of lack of merit, they will still give it to you because you have the favor of the Lord. The church of Jesus in this house and Love Church International and all the relating ministers and all our relatives, including our visitors, you will receive favor. 
Yatashoza taya. Now, the challenge I usually have, which is a good challenge, when a matter like that is released, heaven, I mean, scriptures open up, then I begin to see all the verses on favor, they are lined up. Nani nyingi sana. Wacha tu nisome tu moja. Alright? Acts 2, scripture mwisho, verse 47. Glory to God in the highest. Hey, leo naona kanusha zata ya. Yani walimalizi hizu maoperation. Read 46 for the sake of children because you don't want to read from the middle of a comma. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness and the simplicity of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to them, church, daily, those who are being saved. Come on, celebrate and receive that in the name of Jesus. You will have favor with all the people. I declare you will have favor with all the people. I declare to you, Jesus, people, you will have favor in the city of Jerusalem, in the city of Nairobi. You are praising God. You are breaking bread. You are fellowshipping with God's people. You are receiving apostolic doctrine every day. Preachers are preaching every day. And you are receiving favor with all the people. Hey! Then addition, multiplication, fruitfulness, open doors, even sinners getting saved. Everything. Church being added. Business growing. Ayaba, that has Pray the Holy Ghost, somebody. Bababato Shazadia Zakato Shazia Pada Shara Zareba Shia Favor, 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 favor. Ah, Zarashete Shatara Zora Pada in Jesus' mighty name. So Glory to God in the highest. Hey, we, we, we do have a minister, a psalmist tonight, uh, a brother and music minister, uh, Jude Chosen. He is here with us tonight. From the Ruach, right? One of the assemblies. Which one? Ruach East, wherever East is. East is where the star came from. Even the Magis came from the East. So he's a man from the Rock East. We thank God. Glory to God. Your pastor is my friend. Uh, you know, Julian. And we give God the glory. Amen. We had very powerful meeting with him for five hours. We sat in one place for five hours. It was amazing. So we thank God for the grace of God on this servant of God. He's going to lead us in sound you know, uh, and just sing to the Lord. Remember, every do one. Every sound is pushing the enemy back and is releasing favor upon you. Every do. And every strap and every carousera. Hey! And every sound! And I'll be back and I'll show you something prophetic that is going to shift your life in a few minutes. Glory to God. Just uh, at the turn of midnight. But for now, we just want... Okay, there's one more verse for favor. Because... Witnesses are usually two or three. Let's do the three. Psalms 5, verse 12. Zaya Kayaza. Hey! Jiso may he want to go for you. O Lord, will bless the righteous with favor. You will surround him as with a shield. Can you show? Oh 
my Jesus. Oh my God. Now, so we bless the Lord for what is going to happen tonight as we praise, as we worship, as we sing, and, and so forth. And to God be the glory. So, wangapi mekubari mukona favor. If you are jobless after this case, I'll get your job. Now, can you take a 60 second break if you have a phone? Get your phone and share the page. We are live on Eleven TV. We welcome all those that are watching on Eleven Television. Are we live on TV? I'm an Nigerian Muni confirm here. Where are we live? I know on Facebook we are live. Are we live on TV? Good. Glory to God. What on TV? Mutume salam. I'm an assistant to me salam. And share the page on YouTube, Eleven TV Kenya on Facebook, Life Church International, Eleven TV uh, Kenya or a post Eleven Juma page anywhere. Nambia mwenzako. Ita bia ya kutoshea vitu ya ubatuenu. Ini makosa kubwa. Sio lazima wana kumbushwa. Anytime you come to this house, use your battles well and use your scoofies well. Let's have over 200 people sharing that page. Glory to God. Kama huna battles, tafuta. Thank you, Lord Jesus. To him who sits on the throne and on to him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb and unto the Lamb to him to him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb and glory and honor and power forever be blessing and glory and honor and power forever Put your hands together as we bring the man of God. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together unto Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Apostle, for having me tonight. We bless the Lord. The psalmist said in the book of Psalms 118 verse 19, Open unto me the gates of righteousness, so that I may go through, and so that I may praise. Tonight is an open heaven as we praise. The Bible says that uh, open, open, verse 19, says that open, open, verse 19, open unto me, open unto me the gates of righteousness, and I will go through them, and I will praise the Lord. So tonight, the gates are open for us to worship. The gates are open for us to go through in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, as we go, may your spirit walk within us tonight. As we go, may we glorify your name. Tonight, you'll be blessed. Oh, as we've gathered here tonight, oh Lord, as we go, the may your spirit work within us. As we go. As we gather, may we glorify. 
Lift up your hands and to paga zebeke telebragenanza zapora telabada da daba. There is nothing like your presence, oh God. There is nothing like your presence tonight. Ah, is all that we need. As David said, oh God, as the dear pandas of the waters, so my soul desires for your presence. Zatayada varumbe te palagatosea in the name of Jesus. Oh, there is nothing like your presence, Lord. There is nothing like your presence. Oh, Shaya did a money. Zavinte Pelagato Shaya Dadaba. As you said in Psalm 118, verse 19, the gates of righteousness have been opened for me to go through and worship, to go through, to go through and praise. Tonight, there's an access. There's an access. Zato Paranika, La Punta Kazakataya. We have come to Mount Zion, the city of the Lord. Azopelagateane, for them that appear upon Mount Zion. They move from glory to glory, from grace to grace. Tonight, this grace, tired to pray, to worship this grace. Oh, say Allah, da ba 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 ba, say te ane. Oh, there's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want tonight. Your presence, Lord. All I want is to worship tonight. You. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you. There's nothing, There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with There's you. Nothing. There's nothing like hey. your presence, Lord. Tonight. All I want is to be with you. There's nothing like oh. your presence, Lord. Yeah. All I want is to be oh. with There's you. Nothing. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want, All I want is to be with you. All I want. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. Oh.
Yeshua. Ooh. Hari ene 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 masata ya lava. Naiwe, naiwe, naiwe ma omi naiwe, naiwe, naiwe usikuwa leo. Sotepa, run me. 
as we pray as we sing they are prisoners captive in the city captive in Kenya they are listening and through our prayer tonight and through our singing tonight uh, C26 C26 uh, the Bible says suddenly somebody shout suddenly suddenly the Bible says there was a great earthquake so that the foundation of the prison were shaken and immediately somebody say immediately somebody say immediately the Bible says some doors the Bible says some doors one door two doors three doors what does the Bible say all doors were open tonight as we praise as we pray all doors 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 all doors
Elijah said in the book of First Kings that I hear the sound of abundance tonight over Life Church. We hear the sound of open doors, of open doors. Ah, the sound of oh, do you hear? Do you hear? Do you? I hear the sound of open doors. I hear the sound of open doors. I hear the sound. I want you to grab something. Do you hear? I hear the sound of open doors. I hear the sound of open doors. I hear the sound, the sound of open doors. Do you hear? Do you hear? God bless you. I hear the sound of open doors. I hear the sound of open doors. I hear the sound of open doors. Man, do you hear me? I hear the sound of open doors. The sound of open I hear the sound. Ah, the sound of open Women, do you hear? I hear the sound of open I hear the sound of open I hear the sound. The sound of open Youth, do you hear? I hear the sound of open I hear the sound of open I hear the sound. The sound do you hear? Do you hear? Do you hear? I hear the sound of open doors. I hear the sound of open doors. I hear the sound. The sound of open
We are walking in abundance, moving next to the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am saved. What's the walk? Walking in abundance, moving in the speed of the Holy Ghost. Sarabalor, 
Step into that abundance right now. We were not just singing, we were declaring the truth. Oh. Sekataria malolo shiabada. Siakato shayabado. Walking in abundance, moving in the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am favored. I'm walking in abundance, moving in the speed of the Holy Ghost. Tonight I'm favored. Yes. 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 Somebody better believe it. I'm walking in a furnace. I have divine speed because I'm favored. Somebody step into it. Step into the abundance of 2024 with the speed of the Holy Ghost. Ah, Kakaso Tariabada. Walking in abundance, moving in the speed of the Holy Ghost. Ah. Celebrate God somebody right now. Do it for Jesus. Let's appreciate God's servant Jude together with this wonderful team. And our band, let's appreciate them. short moment you may take your position briefly oh wow blessed be the name of Jesus let me just take a couple of scriptures for about 10 minutes and then we're going to pray a little bit more so that we can operate with the understanding of what God is saying and doing in this season. Glory to God in the highest. We will repeat this next Friday. We will have to keep pushing until this wave is unstoppable. Until the slumbering spirit that was not praying before will be activated. 
and put a life, made a life. Joshua chapter 1, Joshua chapter 1 and verses 1. The Bible says, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant. This is what the Lord said. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all these people, to the land which I'm giving to them, the children of Israel. Somebody say, all, all these people. So nobody's being left behind. Verse 3, read out and loud. Every place that the sole of your foot will trend upon I have given you as I said to Moses verse 4 from the wilderness and this Lebanon as far as the great river river Euphrates and all the land of Hittites and the great sea toward the go down of the sun shall be your territory read verse 5 and turn loud no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you, nor forsake you. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless his word. I want to thank God for this portion of scripture that though it was Moses who received this word, I mean, Joshua who received this word, this is an applicable word for us in this generation. Glory to God. I want just to teach you one, one thing in a few minutes so that we can also pray a little bit more. Amen. I think we should be preaching Sunday uh, Sunday. Sunday. Sunday ikona na shida yake. Because there's a certain tradition. But I like night. I like night. I like night. Amen. Tomorrow, I've, this morning, I have three major meetings. So I will do them. Mungu attend idea. I have to activate the grace up 7.8. It has been 7.0. We have to up. The, the grace to accomplish the things we must. And then after those three, then come back to the service for another two on Sunday. Sour. But no man will be able to stand against me. This year, we got to trend on every place where the soul of our foot shall step. So tell your neighbor trending on your place. How do we trend on our place? In verse 3, Joshua says, Every place that the soul of your foot shall trend upon that have I given unto you as I say to Moses this phrase the sole of your foot uh, is something we need to understand and a couple of years ago when I began interacting with the, the generals of intercession globally there's one of them Ashosh in fact, the other day I went online to see whether she's still alive. I found she passed away, I think, during the days of COVID. I didn't know. Uh, God bless her soul. That woman had been given a mandate by God to go to all the countries that formerly were ruled by the British. And her mandate was to shut down British imperialism over those nations. So she came to JKIA and went on her knees in the airport, kissed the ground, made a prayer.
came into the city, slept in a hotel here, went to Masai Mara, did prayers. And then she wrote me an email and she said, I've been told you are here by some guys in America. So when I knew she was here, I organized a meeting quickly. In YMCA, within one day, we had 20 leaders there. And she prophesied to Kenya and left. She said, Kenya is a, a jewel on the crown. You know, the finger of God is a special nation. She said powerful things. You remember that show? It was a very powerful Muzungu show. So I stumbled on one of her books called Rules of Engagement. She has another book called The Gate of Prayer. So as I was reading a couple of years ago, because when I came here this evening, the Lord reminded me that revelation. I read many years ago. And this is a very important principle. Now, somebody said the soul of your foot. What is a soul? Soul, so not just not the soul of your shoe. Is your foot. Now I, 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 you know, if I was some of my friend preachers, I would have now brought a brother here, tell him to remove his shoes, and remove the socks, so that you can see the sole of his foot. Because some of you sisters don't have socks. The sole of your foot, if you look at it, purity, it has a curve. Aha. Do you see there is a a curve. Now, the word soul, <laughs> if it is a Kenyan uh, soldier, they would say sole. The sole. It's not sole. Some of you are mukushi kule, agati kuli kwa kuna shida. Siege. Kenya was under sea again. So, and give them 10 seconds delay, like in Mexico. Somebody says soul. The Greek word is a word cap, K A P, which is the hollow hand. So look at my hand. If you do your hand like this, you can see the hollow. So the same Greek word, I mean Hebrew word for the soul is the same word for the open bended hand. So God is telling Joshua, this is how you're going to take the land. Every time you stretch your foot and the soul lands in a place, it is your hand that is lifted, that is stepping into the place. Uh, some of you are about to get it. Ah, uh, Lord. Now, a couple of scriptures before I continue with that sentence. Look at uh, Exodus 9, verse 29. The Bible says, So Moses said to him, As soon as I've gone out of the city, I will spread out my hands to the Lord. Ah, when he spreads out his hand to the Lord, is a prophetic picture. The thunder will cease. And there will be no more hail. That you may know that the earth is the Lord's. So Moses with outstretched arms before the Lord. Is an act of prayer. Uh -huh. How are you going to take? your place. How are you going to take your territory? By the outstretched hands. 
to the Lord. Look at Psalms 141 verse 2. <clears throat> Let my prayer be set before you as incense. Every time there is prayer, there must be the lifting up of my hands as an evening sacrifice. Lifting up of the hands is the same in the Hebrew words as stepping your soul of a foot in a territory. So we don't just walk around Nairobi and we because some of you have walked from Islam to Nairobi a city but you have never gotten a plot and you have been walking so it is really not walking it is actually stretching out your hand in prayer it is actually doing warfare it is actually psalming and praying Singing and praying. Glory to God. The lifting up of hands. Now. In 1 Timothy chapter 2. There is a very famous verse. For praying for leadership. And those in authority. Uh, from verse 1. It says that first of all. You know I exhorted first of all. That supplications. Prayers. Intercessions and. Giving of thanks be made for who? For all men. Somebody shout all men. Next verse says for kings and all who are in authority, including pastors. That we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. Why should we do that? For this is good and acceptable in the sight of of God our Savior. <clears throat> and why is it also good to pray for them? The next verse. Who desires. Our Savior desires. That all men. <clears throat> be saved. Including those in authority. And come to the knowledge of the truth. So every president. In every country. Anybody in authority. From the chief upwards. They should know. They should all be saved. That's why we should be praying for them. Kenya, we have a few of them saved and we are opposing them. But, so if they backslide, we have to come back to the verse and pray for them to come back. Although being saved does not mean you know everything. You have to study to show yourself approved of God. And if you're doing politics, then you also got to know how things are run. Surround yourself with the right advisors so that you can help our shilling to go down. And other such important decisions be made in the nation. And usually though things take time in a nation because of bureaucracy, as we want it done in 90 days. And plus, if we add 90 days, it's 100 days. And those ones expired. Because we are always in a hurry. <clears throat> okay, I don't know what I'm saying. Because usually when you come on the pulpit, there's usually an anointing. At however, you don't know what to say. But as soon as you come here, you begin to talk like a radio. Even the fearful ones. All right. Who desires all men to do what? If you jump to verse 8, you will see, therefore... I desire therefore that all men pray where? Everywhere. Look, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. That means this act of lifting up your, the hollow of your hand is an act of taking over, trending now, the word trending is not just trending on TikTok. Because when it was written, there was no what? Social media. Trending is taking over 
militarily. So prayer must become one of the weapons of spiritual army of the Lord. Did you hear what I say? Prayer is one of our arsenal. When I was in South Africa, Cape Town, one of the guys there, you know, Mukamburu Moja, Africa, Husseini, there's a new bullet. ADF guy. It's called RIP. Rest in peace. It's a new one. When it hits the target, it explodes 16 times. So, if it hits a speaker like that, let me not talk about you. If it, because you're not, nobody's going to shoot you. If it hits this speaker, it will release metal pieces into 16, you know, 16 ways. This thing will just blow off. So if it hits somebody, they rest in peace. Prayer is an arsenal. Every time you are lifting up your hand, my sister and my brother, you are actually trending on a specific ground. Every soul, every place, the soul of your foot shall tread upon. You are lifting up your hand in prayer. Hey. This is a powerful weapon. Glory to God. And then it says, because it's easy for women to lift hands, it says, men. All men pray everywhere. Of course, men, you are in the women. Right? Lifting up holy hands. The only way, the only thing that can make our prayer not to be in sync with the soul of our foot when we are lifting our hands in prayer is when our our hands are not holy and our feet are not holy psalms 15 psalms you know 24 who can ascend to the heel of the lord are we together and so the church has been given a very powerful weapon tonight to lift up our hand with that hollow thy like the sole of our foot. And the Bible says every place the sole of our foot will turn upon. This we will possess. Glory to God in the highest. Well, I don't want you know, uh, teach much more than this, but what God is telling Joshua, let me break it down a little bit. I wanted to stop there like in the church wenu. In taking territories, one need to become physically present and actively involved. Physically present and actively involved. You need to be present in the prayer meeting and you need to be actively involved in that prayer meeting. Glory to God. This is how you're going to take the places. In order to have dominion within our territory, we have to demonstrate presence. Number one, say demonstrate presence. Oh yes, demonstrate presence. You got to go there physically in a territory. This is how we take our territory. This is how we expand the sphere of our occupation by going farther and farther and farther. Glory to God. Uh, I'm being tempted to go a bit deeper. Other people can encourage me. Go deeper, man of God. The problem when we go deeper, some people have no depth, so so let's just keep it simple. Let's just keep it simple. Go to 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and let me show you from verse 13 to 15 how you can extend your spiritual territory. Huh? How your song, my brother Jude, and your amazing ministry can go to new places. The Bible says, we however will not boast uh, beyond measure but how shall we boast? Within the limits of the sphere 
with which uh, which God appointed us a sphere which especially includes you. Now that may be a bit technical. This is now deep, I think. Let's put it in an amplified version. Go back. Amplified version will make it a little easier for this generation. We, on the other hand, will not boast beyond our proper limit. Somebody say proper limit. But we will keep within the limits of our commission, that is territory and authority, which God has granted to us as a measure which reaches and includes even you. Paul is telling Corinthians, our measure, our area of operation extends. Huh? Our authority and our territory extends all the way to, to you Corinthians. So you Corinth, you can't say you are not part of us. Hello? So if we are boasting of the proper limits, our limits extends all the way to, to you Corinthians. The next verse. For we are not overextending ourselves as though our authority did not extend to you. For it was to you that we came with the gospel of Christ. Anytime you go to a place with the gospel of Christ, that area begins to become part of your sphere of authority and influence. Glory to God. You know, I've been preaching in not many nations, a few nations, and I've never told people how many, but I have a place I've reached down all the countries I've ever gone. I discovered some countries I've gone many times. I think Uganda is a country I've gone many times, over 20 times, more than any other nation. So, so that nation definitely is part of my sphere of influence. Yeah. In fact, the other day somebody asked me, and how come you guys don't have live churches in Uganda? What's the problem? I said, I think now we, we are ready to plant. Yeah, so we shall organize. So if you are missionary, Nimeona Viro me pick up my coffee. Nyabu. So I see Nyabu Lakini. So we have a Ugandan here. But she's actually a, a Kenyan who lived in Uganda. You, you are Ugandan who lives in Kenya. So, verse 15. Your nose is like a Ugandan nose. Not boasting of things beyond measure. Like in E amplified, yako, apparently amplified. Since we say amplified, Eburudi of us is required, amplified. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. We are not overstepping the limits of our province. I was looking for the word province. As if we did not legitimately reach to you. For we were the very first to come even as far as you with the good news of Jesus Christ. So when my brother, you take good news to a people, and you happen to be among the first people to take the good news there, that becomes part of your province. So why where when you move to a sub-county? Because you revolve around a small area, small area. So the next verse in the Amplified says, we do not go beyond our proper limit, boasting in other in the work of other men but we have the hope that as your faith somebody say faith as your faith in Christ and his divine power continues to grow how many of you know how faith grows faith comes by hearing and the more you hear your faith grows so somebody must come with the gospel to speak and as they are constantly speaking your faith is making movement so your faith is growing then as your faith is growing, look at the next phrase. Our field among you may be greatly expanded. Ha. But still within the limits of our commission. So this is how you can expand your sphere, your scope, your area. Kayado. You can be known all over the world, but not through Facebook. It's by going there. 
Munasikia, that's the original biblical way. Take the gospel into places. Confront the devils. Go make a prayer. Preach the gospel. Standing on their platforms. In their places of worship. Declare. Win the battle. Be present. Glory to God. So one of the ways we take territory through prayer is to demonstrate our presence. So we need to be present in Corinth. For there to be an extension of our scope. Praise God. Number two. Your territory must know you are there. You cannot be hidden and exact authority. No, you got to be there. By us constantly being in the city center. For year after year, year after year. There is some levels of authority that is loading that the devil can't remove because of presence and being present. Glory to God. And doing what? Letting the devils in Moya Avenue know that we are here. And this thing is not being done in a corner. Oh yes. Number three. Joshua, every place the sole of your foot. Listen, actively and continually, we need to engage in cultivating and developing our territory. We must cultivate and develop our territory. We must do something about our territory. Last year, somewhere in the middle, I had a powerful dream. And I saw ourselves doing a very powerful meeting in Uhuru Park. Now I live at Maua. 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 Because I want to go and see whether there is space. City Council, is there space? If we find any space, we can place even a tent. Huh? And every TV will gather many, many, many wonderful Jews from all over East Africa, even Rwanda. Now we will lift a sound in the city. Hmm. That's how to develop and cultivate your territory. The other way to deal with this territory, matter like Joshua, is by working with people and building trust before them so that we can have access. Working with other people by building trust with them so that we can have access. Glory to God. You know, Juicy, in the planning this Benin crusade, so I was delayed by the plane that refused to start to bring me in time. So our team went to meet the deputy governor, and then we were given a waiver for all the flyers. So if you get in a flyer for the crusade, you can give it out. So by working with the DG eh, and building trust that these planners of this crusade and so forth are good people, we have access. Because if we print 100,000 flyers, then each is stamped. They have to stamp it for three weeks. And each is 10 bob. So that means 100,000 times 10 it's a lot of money, just flyers. One time we were doing a crusade in Kamukunji. Wanted to do four days. We were printing, I think, 10,000 flyers. Then Kanjui got to Ambia, each flyer, I think, it was 15 bob. Aye. Nigga calculated in it is too much money. So we took a Punguza, four days to two days. Then later, to Kyoka Mukunji to Mobiri, my pastor and my bishop of Akucha. I said, my man of God should have told us. You know, the last meeting was very good. 
to our many people. They should have told us. Would have organized more. Like, we, we reduced because we could not pay for this stuff. But I said, no. I said, we have a local system. <laughs> yeah, we have a local system. We can kayaza. Do it without, uh, you know. Mleshika ma mjashika. Nairobi kona wenyewe. Huh? So if we, this is how we take territories. By working with certain people, building trust, and through them we have access. Glory to God. And number what? Shida kupea watu numbers kwa kesha. Muna niombea. Mungine ni muna niombea, muna ni intercedia right now. We need to, in taking territory like Joshua, expect God to work. Because we expect God to help Joshua, expect God to work, then we need to be proactive, glory to God, and expect opportunities to arise. I declare there will be opportunities that will arise in Nairobi for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Opportunities as you let God work. As we pray tonight, we expect God is going to work. Is how you take territories. Do you know the father of modern missions in church history? Uh, just recently in 18, I think 1856, there was a man called William Carey. He was a 19-year-old young man, and he was a pastor in England. Ask your neighbor, how old are you? So if you are over 19 and you are not a pastor, I'm glad you are in the Kesha, because you need to lead a prayer. I mean, not necessarily a pastor, you own a church. I mean, you lead a church, but at least you are a minister. Praise the Lord. So this young man, at 19 years, he was a pastor. So on a Monday, he had a board meeting with this church leaders. And this is what he told the leaders. Long time ago. Let's inquire into the possibility of taking the gospel to the heathen lads. To unreached areas. The elders listened to the young man. They told him, young man, God can reach the heathen without your help. Waze wakasimamia kazi ya mungu, ikasimama. Najwale waze wakanisi wanasimamia kazi ya mungu, maka uramari inaenda. But this young man understood the power of the pulpit. He said, see Sunday, next Sunday in our video. <laughs> he came up with a heading or a message. This is what he preached Sunday morning. Expect great things. No, 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 no. This one. Attempt great things for God. That was a message. As a church, he was not speaking like me. He was speaking like a British. No, 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 no. But he was speaking whatever he was saying. Attempt great things for God. He was telling them, we need to attempt great things for God. A few of them were won. So I think it's possible. Next Sunday, he came with another message. Glory to God. Because you need a series of messages to shift congosity. He came up with another message. Last week, it was attempt great things for God. This week, it was expect great things from God. After those messages, he began introducing a newsletter. And the newsletter was having information about unreached nations. And then all of a sudden, he began to study other languages. He studied six languages. And the young man left for India. I'm telling you. That's what inspired David Livingstone. Who came to the east coast of Africa. And all these church missionary societies from Europe. By the way, it is what made the Wabeberu wakuja watafte shamba huku. Those messages. Na chukua. It is the preachers and the move of God in Europe that jump-started exploration of Africa. Am I correct in my, there's this Dr. Gigi. I'm right. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Kuwa pastor si kuwa mjinga. Watazangiru na soma soma kidogo. Ya kusaidia educated devils. Glory to God. 
Kwa hali leo tunaongeaje? Praise God. Tell your neighbor expect God to work for you, Joshua. Finally Joshua needed to persevere not to yield when unexpected difficulties would come or resistance would arise Joshua persevere God tells him as I was with Moses I will also be with you So do you understand that when we pray and activate those few things I've shared we can take the territory and we are going to take territories in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so we're going to pray and we are going to prophetically activate the two uh, what was the Hebrew word I gave you for the hollow, hollow of the hand? Cup. So you have a cup and you have the cup on your foot in your hand. We're going to lift holy hands to God and make a prayer. This is how we're going to take territory. If you go to your own house, you go to where you live, you go to your company, you go to the place where you work, and you stand in the presence of God, lift up your hand to the holy heaven and make a prayer. I'm telling you, heaven will notice there is a prayer. There are requests. There is a sound. There is something rising up. And God who hears prayer will answer you. And things will never be the same again. And so, let's right now take that Joshua 1.3 as a very powerful scripture for this month of February as we step into the rest of the year. That every place, somebody shout every place that the sole of my foot will trend upon. God has given it to me. Now stand up on your feet. Glory to God. Every place. Daraja Zataya Bada. Koko Tosha Zia Tadaya. Generate sound here, brother. Hii watu wasiwekewa wasipowekewa kwa music hapa watasinzia. Simameni tafadhali. Ona muda kuna simama pole pole. Naelewa ni usiku lakini tafadhali jitie moyo kama moyo umetoka rudisha. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound, the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound, the sound of victory. I hear the sound. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound, the sound of victory. Yes, I hear. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the Sound, the sound of victory. As we get into this prayer, I want you to be very proactive. I want you to be very prophetic. And now you know the sole of your feet, of your foot is important. You know the whole of your hand is important. I pray that whatever place God has sent you, or you find yourself strategically at the marketplace, in that family, at that business shop, in the church, in the ministry, in a physical area. Hey, you're bad old, Jezada. Come here, man of God. Come here. Zakata Jezita. Let me tell you, 
This is Apostle John uh, from Mutuati. We went to Mutuati many years ago, I think seven years ago, and commissioned this man as an apostle. He leads a ministry as churches in Meru. And in the last couple of months, he's been hearing the sound to go to another city. So he came to see me, so I said, stay with me in the house for a couple of, for some time so that he can upgrade the app. So as soon as I began to sing that song, I heard in the spirit, you will leave this place this weekend knowing where you're going. Before he goes back, stretch your hand and pray for him. John, he's got John. Just pray for him. Kata Baza, Kampasa Gigi. And Mwimi, please come and pray for this guy. Shazota Riabada. Kanto, Jozoko Tayabada. My operations, Meanza. Jazakato, Jazariabada. Shete Razia Badaya. Zokoto, Shazate Abada. Zikato, Shazia Bada. They beat you, they harassed you. They try to imprison you. It didn't work. Kabato. They abandoned you. Shazada. They try to curse you. Shetariabaza. They try to demean you. Jazota. They try to reject you. It can't work. Now, the Jesus who called you. The God who anointed you. The God who placed you in this nation. And that part of the north. He has a divine plan for your life. We declare while you are here. Zekete Jazara, we break the powers of hell. We stop the resistance of the enemy. We decree and declare Satan is defeated. We declare Jazata, the warfare is over. Zete Psalms, no Isaiah 40, verse 1. Jagato, Bato Ziatata, Bato Shazita. Can somebody pray in the Holy Ghost? You don't know what you are praying. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people. Says your God, verse 2. Bato Shazataria. Speak comfort. Yes, to her. To Jerusalem and cry out to her. That her warfare is ended. Shapara. Declare the warfare. For John is ended. Come on. Stretch your hand and pray. Yes, yes, yes. The warfare is ended. The iniquity is pardoned. Now you shall receive from the Lord's hand double, double, double. Zagato Shabada. This time, no double for your sins, but double restoration. Double restoration. Zapayaba. Zekete Shaza. Lo Satariabada. Zekete Shazada. Bato Shazia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Double restoration. Zechariah 9 verse 12. Double restoration. Baro shadada. Vino naombea mutu. Hivyo ndivyo unapanda begu. Karika maisha yako. Siku za usoni. Oh my Jesus. Return to the stronghold. You prisoners of hope. Even today. 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 I declare today, somebody declare double. I will restore double to you. Restoration. Double, double, double restoration. Zapaya Bada. Sharada Dada. Double, double. Shatarosata. Vitaroshaza. Double, double. Double restoration. I am a solo. In Jesus' mighty name, we release this man to his greatest optimum position in the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Arudishwe. 
kwa nguvu imara na dhabiti kusimama katika injili na kuongoza makanisa ambao Bwana amempa na wale viongozi wanaofanya chini yake twaomba apate mlango mpya wa kufungua huduma katika sehemu mpya kwa jina la Yesu sasa ni double restoration the other day i wrote something on social media that he was reading uh, and he got that from there in second kings chapter 8 the shunamite woman when there was drought because she had been hosting men of god jehovah she had been hosting men of god this woman because of drought the prophet advised her you leave the area temporarily because it's going to be a very difficult moment because you served God's people you are taken care of after seven years the famine was over and she strategically came back and she found a story being told of her and the king said oh my god I appoint an officer to supervise the restoration of all the proceeds of her farm for seven years and I had in the spirit there are those that are called officers of restoration I declare may an officer of restoration be appointed for you may an officer of restoration be appointed for you everybody now call for your officer in the spirit itisha officer wako kwa spirit god bless you john itisha itisha restoration for your career for your finances for your relationships for your family yes for your ministry lord appoint an officer of restoration he will guide me she will guide me zarakata this is a destiny connector but all oh, help us of destiny these are officers of restoration barakato zariabada bagata zaraha Oh, Saria Barola. I am Casolo. I am Officers of Restoration. Ah, oh my God. This is beyond a lawyer. This is beyond a doctor. This is beyond a husband. This is beyond a wife. This is beyond a what we can think. These are spiritual emissaries. These are ambassadors. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes. Zagato ah. Shazaria. Zekapaya Bada. Zekete shaya ya Oh siya paya balo ya Aya kasololo ya Aya bagato siya balo la Aya basololo zaria balo Aya basololo Aya bagaserelele Zaga toroshi apatela Zega sarala la la lela Zeka kaselele la bashaya Zaga batoro shia badalela Zika kasololo I want to pray now for somebody Oh Lord Jesus Things have begun to open up in the spirit In the mighty name of Jesus Ah kato shazia tada You will begin to get help Somebody is getting help in this Kesha, in the name of Jesus. People are getting help in this Kesha, in the name of Jesus. People are getting help. 
I want to pray for that woman of God there. Now Mary, the next one, the one who is next. With, bring her. Just come down with her. Yes. Just come. Just come. Home. Just come. Shazata. Dadada. Zikete. Bashaziata. Shatapa. I hear the sound. The sound of victory. I hear the sound. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound. The sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound. The sound If you are dealing with a very difficult matter that unless the Lord intervenes in your situation the reports you have are not good reports that sound of victory Merit land in your life and in your spirit. I'll give you an opportunity to come on the altar if you are dealing with a very difficult situation. You can leave your shoes at the edge and come on the altar quickly. Margaret, is that still your name? Be healed. What man cannot do, may Jehovah do it. Oh, ya baga solo yeta. Kuna jeshi abwana hapa. Simweke maombi mwame hawa. I destroy the destroyer. Tonight, be healed. Oh, victory. The sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound. The 
sound of victory. There is a sound, there is a sound. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. There is a sound. I hear the sound. Sound of victory. There is a sound, there is a sound. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. Receive help from God. I hear the sound. I hear the sound. Take your miracle. Take your miracle. Ah, Parosa. Segesa. Santa Pura. Take it. Shapaya. Segeta. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound. The sound of victory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to thank God for the victory in your life. You see, when you finish the cash off, when you go, you will be discovering in the morning that things have shifted. Yes, yes. Zagato Shazata. Parabasoto Zaraya. Zigete Shazia Tata. May the Lord Jesus in this place and the power of the Holy Ghost speak on your behalf handle your situation in the mighty name of Jesus and even those that have stepped on this altar I declare to you in the name of Jesus your life will never 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 be the same again divine help has come your way in the mighty name of Jesus your story has changed oh yes oh yes oh yes all those who had risen again is still some of you here you are facing people that have risen against you i declare tonight they have given up they have given up they cannot pursue you anymore they have no power they have no power 
pursue you anymore. For the sound of victory is in this place. Yakakato Shazatia Jakato Shazita Yabada. This brother, God is giving you just there, just there, it's okay. Just kneel there, it's okay. God is giving you a special sending. Una tumwa specially. Na kila mtu akitumwa anapewa vifaa, anapewa upako, anapewa neema, anapewa uweza wa Roho Mtakatifu. I know God is giving you special sending with a special anointing back to your people. God will begin to use you in an unusual way. Mungu ataanza kutubu kutumia kwa njia speciali. Watashina nini nifanyika? Muna ni Yesu Kristo peke yake. Habaya mekupa anointing na power. Leo kwa jina la Yesu. Umetumwa kwa njia speciali. Mungu ataanza kukutumia kwa njia ya ajabu. Kwa njia leo. In the beginning of the service, uh, Joshua was reading for us a uh, limo. Psalms 29. From verse 3, what the voice of the Lord is able to do. You remember that? One of the things, my sister, the voice of the Lord is able to do is to split splitter the cedars of Lebanon now cedars of Lebanon these trees were used for pillars in the temple because they didn't have you know very much technology pillars those trees are very durable ukisha weka kwa temple unless kuja fire that temple is gonna stand and I have noticed in the spirit when I was calling her I wanted to call you, but I'm glad you came by yourself. There are things in your life that have been there as pillars since time immemorial in your generations that have continued to hinder your siblings and your people. Tonight, the voice of God is breaking those cedars and destroying those pillars. And God establishing Mutashikiliwa kwa jia ingine Familia yenu Haitashikiliwa Na kusimamishwa Na hizo bao Ama vitingiti Ama you know pillars Because those ones are splitting Are being destroyed Are being broken And God is establishing Something new A new infrastructure A new system of provision A new system of doing things for you Christ salvation God kingdom culture a new way of life is entering into you because you are sick of God receive help from God from today things that have been there since time immemorial are broken by the voice of God Kato Shazataya. Receive it right now. Bato Shazataya. Be delivered from the waterless pit. Zachariah 9, verse 11. Bokoto Zataba. Pray for our sister. Ayabagataya. As for you. Because of the blood of the of your covenant, 
I'll say to your prisoners free from the waterless pit. Mahari Murizikwa, Mahari Murizikwa, Natandaza, Ondolewa Hapo, Tokuondoa Hapo, Waterless Pit, come out of that place. I place the blessing of the law upon your life. Become a prisoner of hope. Hope, hope, hope. Tumaini, Tumaini, Pata Tumaini, Pata Tumaini, Pata Tumaini, Pata Tumaini, Zadaraza, Tumaini. There is hope, hope for your life. My name Pia. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to Jesus. Just keep worshiping God, somebody in the house. The Lord Jesus is touching his people. He is able to touch you wherever you are. Dabagato Shaziti Amazaya Dagasukotaya. Sharaga Zukoto Mazia Tataya. Is Opila Zikiwa Zimaondolewa? God now restoring and getting him to hold you. You will hold on him. There is a new hope. You leave this place with the hope that it is well. Shakata Mazata. Through it all. Through it all. I am Trust in Jesus. I have learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I have learned to depend upon His word. God for the goodness of his name. We're gonna push a little bit in a song or two and a little bit more prayer. But first, in our praying and in our worship tonight and in our ministering to the Lord, we need to minister to him through our giving. This is time to give. We always celebrate those kind of opportunities to give because our God is a very faithful God. He's an amazing God. This is the month of February and we thank God for Oh, January is over. How did it get over? Jesus. We are already in month two. Glory to God. So prepare your offering. Uh, I know the complications of being on the pulpit and so but just go and give and then we'll be back glory to God uh, if you want to pick your phone or you want to pick your beautiful handbag glory to God in the highest prepare your offering we're going to give to the Lord because we open our mouth in prayer we also extend our hand the cup the Hebrew word cup extending our hand 
if you're giving by Mpesa, it's 572. It's also on the walls, just in case the screen is misbehaving. Uh, and that's a blessing. The other 532 is for Elevate TV. So sometimes when you give to that, you can also give to that. Some of you need to sow for Elevate TV. Uh, we are trusting God to take that TV station to the next level in terms of quality, in terms of programs, in terms of accuracy. Just be seated. Accuracy of um, our programming and everything. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. We'll ask uh, Alex to just come and pray for the offerings and trust God that his blessing will flow upon each one of us. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the opportunity to give. We bless you and lift up your name. I pray that you reward each one who gives out, O Lord Almighty, to the glory and honor of your name. Be lifted and be exhorted tonight. And in the name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, uh, can we, if we pass the bag that probably it will take forever. We have ashes in the house. All right, worship team, give and come back. Pass the bag, it will be a blessing. Uh, come here, Jude, uh, as the worship team is coming back. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you do in the music ministry. Where are you at? What's going on? Uh, amen. Amen. Thank you for having me. Is it, introduce yourself also a little bit more. Uh, great. Thank you for having me tonight. Uh, my name is Jude Chosen Mutinda. Uh, I'm born again. I love the Lord as my personal savior. I serve with Ruach Ministries under uh, Reverend Julian Kula, but now positioned at Ruach East, serving under Pastor Thaddeus Charlie. Um, serve there as a uh, lead minister under uh, prayer. I lead the prayer uh, team in Ruach, and um, as well now doing music, um, the worship, not only just doing it, is what God has called me to do it. And um, apart from that, I'm oncology nurse. I deal with cancer. And uh, currently, I lecture. I'm a lecturer. Did you say you heal cancer? Uh, yeah, yeah, you yes, heal cancer. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes, yes. Yeah, so I studied in Ataga Khan University. That's my specialty. Currently, I, I'm, I lecture. Nairobi Hospital School of Nursing. Uh, Pastor Talam is my colleague. We oh. work together, but I'm in the school. That's great. Yes. So you lead the prayer. Yes. And then singing. Wow. Isn't that a blessing? Can we appreciate this man of God? <laughs> we really encourage talent, you know, gift ministry what do you think god is saying to worship leaders and teams now you know in the nation where we are currently prophetically and you know do you have any direction any counsel in this season that god has ushered in as a nation as a worshipers we God is going to use the people who have separated themselves. Ah. Yes. Because um, I think there are so many sounds around, but there is the sound of God. So we have to differentiate the sound of God. Um, when Moses was coming down from the mountain, there was a shout, and it was a mixed sound. 
but Moses knew the definite sound. So I believe in this season that God has ushered into there is a definite sound of God. And that is the sound that now will open the doors, will usher us into the second coming of Christ. So there is that sound, that particular sound. Yes. Amen. So there are many sounds, but there has to be a distinction yes. for us to get the sound of God. I think it's the same thing that somebody said about men of God. There are men of God and there are men from God. So there's a sounds, but there's a sound from God. That's powerful. That's amazing. Uh, have you done, they used to call them albums. Now I don't know what they call them. Uh, I don't know what they call them, worship experience. Or they call them live recording or your own songs. Do, do you have songs anywhere in the world? Um, I have not taken that route. Yeah. Because um, I believe, I think I, it's an instruction. I'm very happy because I was about to say exactly what you said. Because I've not seen any of your songs online, but you don't have to. Yes. You can bring the sound life on the ground. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm, I'm glad that you, you have pursued that practical, physical on the ground, leading worship. That's very powerful. Because most of those artists, we are trying to bring them this other side. To be able to produce life on a service and let the glory come instead of doing it in the studio alone of course although that has its own unique place because it must travel praise god it's an extra gift but we also need worshipers to be able to do it on the ground and to god be the glory for the great things the lord has allowed you to do amen, amen. and so so this song on the uh, open door, Rito Um, It's a song done by one of our worship ministers in rock called uh, Njoki. Oh, I know Njoki. Yes. So yeah. uh, the, early this year, on 31st night, I was at Life Church, Kasarani. Uh -huh. uh, in the Pastor James Kimathi, he had invited me over to help him do the ministry. Yeah. And... Um, that's when I knew the theme for this year, for Life Church. Yeah, it's open door. Yeah, and um, on last Friday, we were, I was ministering at Bishop Olmo to his church in Machakos, in the Atakesha. And um, this sound, it was birth there. Wow. And immediately on Saturday, I called Njoki, I told her, I know your song that you sang is, you hear the sound of victory. Yesterday, what I heard in the spirit was a sound of open doors. Wow. And we sang it. And, uh, that's how, that's how it, came, it came. Amen. Yes. I think we should invite Jockey. Tell her I'm looking for her. I'll do that. Yeah, I'm looking for her. I'll do that. We close that show. How many of you have enjoyed that show on TV? No, it's on TV. Come on, stand up on your feet. Oh my God, what a blessing. You know, Elijah said, I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. Praise God. Before we can make these declarations and all these powerful songs, why don't we just worship him first? Tell him you love him. You love God. Holy Spirit, we respect you. Jesus, thank you for what you did on the cross. Take up a few moments just to worship him. You can just give him thanks. Huh? And just bless the Lord. Yeah, just worship, lift your voice. Takapato shozoto bakataya. 
Likikikashoto jazia tapadia Oye makatu Bless me. Oh, I can by prayer. I will stay in prayer when I leave this room. I will go in prayer. I can by prayer. I will stay in prayer. When I leave it, I'll lift your voice and say, I will go in prayer. I can.
Listen, listen. Our theme scripture, 1 Corinthians 16 9. The Bible says, For great and effective door has opened for me, but there are many adversaries. Brethren, despite the door, this week Apostle has been teaching us, God can shut us. And I, I, I picked it in the spirit. God can shut us despite us all being open. The Bible says there are many adversaries. Those adversaries we can handle and pack on them by prayer. Oh, Shayana. Oh, Paul. The Bible says he was forbidden by people not to go to certain places. But prayer will open the doors. For oh, we will pray. We will pray. For our city, we will pray. 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 For we will be doing better. Better will make us our generation. Pray. If we don't pray, 
Messiah. Hey, Baba, Father, Father, so we pray. We will pray. We will pray. We will pray. Baba, if we don't pray, Oh, last chance as a ministry. We will pray. We will pray in 2024. We will pray. We will pray. If we don't pray, Saga, Saga, Rapaya Lava, Sotea, Aye, Kaya Baba Baba. We will pray. We will pray. Hataya Baba 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 Baba. We will pray. We will pray in the marketplace, Saga, Sotea, Zako. Lift up the gates, lift up the heads, ah, Kazoperandi, lift up the gates in the marketplace, Ayaba, Zoperanda, who's the king of glory, Kazopia, the court, I will pray, 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 Oh, I will pray. Oh, I will pray. Nima Omi, Nima Omi, Nima Omi, Nima Omi, Nita Omba. Back and people we say. Chapter 5, verse 17. 17 and 6. Oh, God. So the Bible says, Elijah, 
was a man with nature like ours and he prayed earnestly that it will not rain and it did not rain on the land for three years and six months verse 18 and he prayed again and the heaven gave rain and the earth produced uh, regardless of the doors being shut we can pray again we can pray again and tonight is that night of praying again let us sing this song one more time as we welcome our brother it's a omba it's a omba it's a omba it's a omba back on me who is saved it's a omba 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 Just lift up those hearts and clap to Jesus. Just give him a clap. Just give him a clap. Give him a clap in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want us to take some moments and pray. This is good. Tutaomba, tutaomba, tutaomba. Sasa ndaka tuombe. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. Tumeimba kuomba, tutaomba. Thank you, Jesus. We could release the, the singing team. We could also take their leave in the name of Jesus. I want us to take some moment and just uh, pray for... Uh, today you, you came to the Kesha and you said, Nenda Kesha kuomba na nikona prayer list. Uh, well, I mean that you have something you want to pray about. I want us to give us some moments to pray uh, because it is important. Let me read uh, scriptures because. Thank you, Jesus. Psalms 24. Our dad just uh, mentioned this in his ministry. Um, yeah, you could sit for 30 seconds. Um, this is Psalms 24, yes. The earth. Um, is the Lord's just check whether your neighbor is um, listening or, li or reading the, the word or he is still praying I give you permission to ask your neighbor to stop praying this is the only time you have that you can stop someone from praying so stop them you know what I mean yes so the earth is the Lord's and all is fullness the world and those who dwell therein. This is powerful. Bana, gocha kidogo, just a moment. And the earth is the Lord's and all is fullness. The world and those who dwell therein. Several things mentioned there. The earth, you know, and all is fullness and all the systems which are there and which operate there. All that belongs to the Lord. The Lord owns everything. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 2. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Of course, uh, the aspect of the seas are the people and uh, establish it upon the waters, uh, upon his word. So that's, that's where everything is founded, upon his word, because, you know, through his word, everything was created. We talk about seas, you know, we're talking about the people, and waters, of course, in the New Testament talks about the word. So you can see how that is moving. Verse 3. Uh, who may ascend into the hill of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? Ascend in his holy hill and who may stand in his holy place? And then verse 4 gives us the answer. It is he who that has a clean hand, who has clean hands and a pure heart. And we've already been taught about the hands and a pure heart. Who has not lifted up his soul to an idol nor sworn deceitfully. Uh, these are some of the works of the flesh that are listed in Galatians chapter 5 verses 19. Um, I was reading that scripture in the morning and it's amazing. Some of the things listed there is works of the flesh. So one of it is actually idolatry and uh, you know lifting up one's soul, it's pride, you know lifting up one I mean lifted up his soul to an idol that means worshipping an idol that is nor sworn deceitfully he shall receive blessing 
from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. So that person who is ascending there shall receive blessing from the Lord. Amen. So it's not in vain. It's not in vain for us to ascend. It's not in vain for us to come in his presence. It's not in vain for us to maintain purity of heart, for us to maintain holiness, for us to, to maintain cleanliness. It's not in vain. The Bible says that person shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Amen. Verse 6 says, And this is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. We are those who seek the Lord Jesus. Verse 8, Lift up your hands, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Lift up your hands, O you gates. And this morning, yes, it's a morning because it's almost 2 a.m., want us to pray, lifting up and declaring and pronouncing, let every gate be lifted up in the name of Jesus. There are usually prayer watches or watches during the day and in the night. And we are just about, we are that watch of 12 or midnight up to 3 a.m. Very important. And in this watch, we can pray and command every gate to be lifted up so that you can enter in, so that I can enter in, in the name of Jesus. And be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. The King of glory is the Lord himself. He shall come in. Victory belongs to Jesus, and we are in Christ. Therefore, we shall go in to the open door. We shall go in to this blessing. We shall go in to our possession in the name of Jesus. Verse 8 says, who is the king of glory? I like the Bible. The Bible has question and answer. It's not like the examination in the university, which has no answer. But the Bible has, who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. Where is the soma biblia uanguke? Sinu kweli? Sasa uanguke aje kama unaulizo swali na umapua majibu. That's why you should read the Bible. So that you don't fall into temptation. Anyway. Yes, who is the king of glory? Ioni swali. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. This is the one who is going to get in. He is the one who is going to advance in. And we are the sons of God. And we are in him. The Bible says we are hidden in God. In Christ. We are going to advance in. In victory. And the one who is reading us. The captain. The one who is, who is, who is calling the shots. They say the one who is, the one who is head, the chief apostle. The chief apostle is Jesus Christ. The chief apostle is the one mighty and strong in battle. He has never lost any battle. He will not start with you as I had another preacher say. He has never lost any battle. He will not start with your case. Thank you Holy Spirit. This night we must, we must, we must unleash every weapon of warfare and pray. Even if it is general purpose, you know, uh, machine gun, you know, auto revolving corobusta. Sour. Even if it is that one, we must unleash every weapon. The Lord might say, but oh yes, verse, verse 10. Do you have a verse 10? I want to release the whole of it. Am I Meisha? Sour. No, no, verse 10. Verse 10 is there. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. Seller. Pose and think. So I want us to pray and know that we are in Christ who has never lost any battle. We are in Christ who wins every battle. So every prayer, every cry, Psalms chapter 40, I believe so. Uh, yes. Tamimi ni meanza kuwa na nini? Na na inji. Niko na inji, na inaanza ufanya kazi. Psalms chapter 40 verses 1. I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and heard my cry. Verse 2. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the mighty clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. He brought me where? He brought me where? Up and out. Where are you set? Where are you set? Your feet is set upon what? Upon a rock. And your steps are established in him. This is the moment to ask the Lord Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. Establish my goings. Establish my steps. That's why 1 Peter 5.10 says, After you have suffered a little while, that God will come 
and perfect you and strengthen you and establish you and also settle you that God of grace is coming to do all those things it's coming to perfect us establish us strengthening us settling us besides the suffering that has been there glory be to Jesus so you know the reading of the word raises faith in our hearts in the name of Jesus and that's the faith that wants us to arise and pray just want to give us time to pray for that need for that desire for that cry and you could also ask the Lord Jesus what is your prayer what is your desire in my life what is it that is your need if God has a need that you need me to address you know Hannah had a need but God had also a need so Hannah realized was the need of God and prayed for the need of God and God met his need Sinisawa God met his need so was Hannah satisfied or not she was blessed be the name of Jesus when there was a, an issue with Goliath David asked who is that uncircumcised Philistine that is def- that is that is you know kind of coming to put a shame or coming to you know to parade himself against the people of God he had a need he perceived what was it the desire in the heart of God thank you Jesus let's stand in the name of Jesus let's just stand. encourage yourself to stand just encourage yourself to stand the knees are saying something else but encourage them encourage them. once you stand you can't sit because there's out of grace up here the higher you go the hot tighter becomes thank you Jesus so just encourage yourself to stand and begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Holy Spirit thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus just lift up your voice open up your mouth just pray just tell the Lord Jesus meet this very need in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus this is not a time to allow any adversary to 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 prevent you to hinder you Zagatora Masheteria Bazaketa Zatoria Bagashita Rabaze in the mighty name of Jesus in the 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 name of Jesus Holy Spirit Holy Spirit Holy Spirit Holy Spirit come and minister to us come and minister to every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Sharara Rabu Zakateria Bagayande Rebu Zaga Repo Shatara Baganda Umenda Kesha Umenda Kuomba Tafadhali Chukwa Nafasi He Weza kuomba katika china la Yesu Kristo patia bwana na mjulishe bwana hata yale mahitaji yako katika china la Yesu Kristo yeye akujua vyema bibi asema kwamba anatujua vyema aliweza kutujua aliweza kujua siku zetu hata kabla hatujazaliwa hata kabla hatujaanza kuishi siku moja ya zile ambazo zimewekwa baba aliweza kujua siku zetu mwabudu bwana muombe kwa huyu bwana katika china la Yesu Kristo Mwabe huyu bwana mwabe huyu bwana mwabe huyu bwana mwabe huyu bwana shere la kazoko torobo shateza ragazo kotoroshia rarabaganda sherezi ya pakarura maze rekazua tarabagando rosheketeriba shanda rabagaderi ya bazaga torobo shakepa in the name of Jesus Christ no one ever called to the father and the father refused to hear them zatarabagando robo shaketa rapura sheketeria maganda shereba zagabana musakeba no one ever called the father and the father turned the deaf ear oh my god Paul, I mean that David says that I have prayed and the Lord has inclined his ear oh my god the Lord has inclined his ear Zatarabaganda robo shaketa repo shatarabaganda reko shateri abagande rezoko torobo shateba rapuri ashatezi baganda sharabaganda robo sakepa repo rozi abagande resakai rabo sakatarabaganda Ganda rako shatere bagando robo sake repo shakatara baganda oba oba mujulisha bwana mujulisha bwana huyu sio binadamu abaya anaweza lala abaya anaweza patwa na usingizi ama sinzie hapana huyu ni bwana huyu ni mungu huyu ni jehova bila sema ya kwamba yeye halali yeye hasinzi karozi ya baganda re bashaka that is our father that is our father that is our father father 
that is our father that is our father he never sleeps he never slumbers 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 kashateria baganda rabasaketa repo shakata rabaganda shatesi baganda boraseka shadarabaganda repo sakepa makata rabaganda robo shaketa repa shaterezia baka repa katorosia darabagande repa shaterezia baka repa katosia baganda omba 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 mujulisha bwana mahitaji yako mujulisha bwana kile ambacho kiko ndani ya roho yako bibi nasema ya kwamba yule dada ambaye aliitwa hana alikuwa akiomba alikuwa akiomba ilikuwa tu inaonekana kala rosa baganda rabashaketa ilikuwa inaonekana ni mdomo peke yake ilikuwa tu inaonekana shata rabaganda that she was praying but nobody had her voice because she had a deep cry a deep cry a deep cry a deep cry kuna uwezekana Shata raba ganda raba seka kuna weze kana kuna mambo ambayo yamekusukuma sana hata wezi taka isiki kana ukiomba omba kwa bwana asikia ya maombi ajibu ya maombi asikia ya maombi ajibu ya maombi asikia ya maombi asikia ya maombi ajibu ya maombi kuna mungu biguni kuna mungu biguni ambaye anasikia maombi ambaye anasikia maombi kuna mungu biguni ambaye anasikia maombi ambaye anawajibu watoto wake ambaye anawajibu watoto wake biblia inasema kwamba shata rabaganda rabasaketa repa shata rabaganda repa shata rabagate repa shata rabagate repa shata rabade baba Hawezi abua mkate apeana kitu kingine apeana mawe apeana kitu kingine hawezi maana yeye ni bwana maana yeye ni bwana maana yeye ni bwana shatara bagande re bashaketa meka tara bagato meka tara bagato meka shatara bagato meka shatara bagate meka shatara bagate meka shatara bagate meka shatara bagate omba omba Shatara baganda rabashekata repashateria baganda rekato repashateria baganda rekata rapashatara bakate repashatara bakatoria baganda repashatara bakate repakatoria baganda repashatara baganda yes take your time and pray 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 don't be in a hurry 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 just take your time just Take your time and pray to the Father. And pray to the Father. And pray to the Father. Oh, Babuana, Abaye, Anajibu, 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 Maombiatu, Abaye, Anajibu, Maombiatu, Abaye, Anajibu. Shatara baganda le bashaketa re bashakatara baganda re bashakatara baganda speak to those gates speak to those gates tell them lift up your heads all you gates lift up your heads all you gates pray those gates that you are desiring that they be lifted that you could enter in into an open door this is a season to activate this is the hour this is the hour this is the hour this is the hour to speak to those gates. Yes, that they be lifted up that they be lifted up that you could enter in that you could enter in Shatara baganda la bashaketa Shatara baganda la basaya Re bashakatari ya baganda Those that are seeking God To enter into doors Oh my God of business This is a season This is a season To activate This is a season To activate This is a season To activate This is a season To pray through This is a season To pray through This is the hour To pray through This is the hour To pray through This is the hour To pray through Some of us are trusting God. Satara bakando robo shaketa rabayanda. Thank you, Jesus. Listen.
in this in this opportunity the opportune time when the word of God is being declared that this is a season of open door this is a time and a moment you can activate those doors that look so stubborn in your life and in front of you the Bible says that Hannah could pray only her lips were moving couldn't hear what she was saying because she had a deep cry before the father at this moment I want you to make a deep cry before the father in the mighty name of Jesus those doors that you are trusting God they would open is it getting a door for getting married is it getting a door for a spouse is it getting a door for business is it getting a door for going back to school is it getting a door for establishment is it getting a door for whatever it is the Lord hears the cry and is going to establish our steps in the name of Jesus Christ don't be cheated anyone don't be lied to God has no other business in heaven other than waiting and I mean other than listening and answering our cry Rose Kataya Baganda oh my God you are so special before Jehovah you are so special make this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ of the Lord Jesus for this particular door for this particular door father I pray in the name of Jesus Shatara Baganda Rabosageba I pray again I make this prayer again I make this prayer again just pray it again just pray it again these are the knocking doors these are the prayers that you knock these are the prayers that you make and they're like knocking a door and during the door is open for you Sura baganda rabaseke tere baganda rokorozi abaganda ros.